Hello everybody, welcome to the show. Bass Bonsai, we're out on the water, sort of, we're along the banks. But we're trying out today Big A's uh, TRD bait, and that color should work here awesome. I don't know about the red head, but we caught a couple fish on it a few weeks ago, and I just want to try it out here in this water again today. Almost the same clarity as what we had a couple weeks ago. But we're going to throw today on my favorite light combo or general all-around BFS combo. That is the Corrado BFS XG 10 pound uh, braid is the main line, 10 pound leader. It's uh, P-Line Original Copolymer is the, the line of choice for my leader material. But that is, I believe that is a tenth of an ounce with that TRD. So that's not a very light bait, but this rod and reel combo is plenty capable. I guess I didn't uh, mention the Real or rod, did I? That's the uh, Lure Star Streamer, five foot eight, two piece light rod. But for general all around BFS, this is my favorite combo. The performance, just the balance and the feel of it, you can't beat this combo. Can't beat it. I wish all my combos, as they got a little bit bigger, had this same kind of feeling. And you know, they do make an ultra light, and I'll probably be getting one of those. I don't know what real for sure I'll pair it with. Probably CU Double. See you double. See you double is a rod. Probably the Dark Wolf Ultra. But anyway, buckle up, hang on. Let's see if we can catch a fish on Ned Rig, right? TRD style bait. That's the uh, one from Big Gaze. Custom Baits, shout out to him for uh, giving a, well, the show, Bass Bonds, I and Charles, all these different baits. Area. I'm going to try it first just so I don't get it hung up. I'm just going to throw it out, kind of like I tell the kids, throw it out and reel it back slow. You'd be surprised how deadly this TRD can be. I'm just like that. Oh, I had one. Just used like a kind of like a little swim bait. Just throw it out and reel it back slow. And definitely had a. That was my fault. I had him for a split second. But just throw it out and reel it back slow. It's crazy how well they work just doing that. But when you want to get serious cast it out let it sink almost use it like almost like a shaky head worm is kind of how I I just kind of may jiggle it and reel it a little bit if you feel it get a little caught I do like using it with a on a little stouter rod with the shaky head jig actually but this this should be I don't think there's enough hang-ups in here I think I can get through kind of bouncing it on the bottom Got one looking at it. Did you grab it? Got a little bitty guy following it. All right. Now we're on the other side, but right over. We've caught a lot of fish right out in that area right there. And I'm going to try to zing it right out there and just let it sink. And even though I think it, I was going to say, even though it's far away, sometimes you can watch that line going into the water. And if you see that make a jump. I think I need to go to my left. Oh, there's a hit. Oh, we had one. No, we got one. Thought he got off. We got one. Come on. Get in here. Oh, he's trying to take me down there. Scared one out from under there. Look at that. He has not seen battle. He may come off. I'm letting him. I hope this rod will lift him. There we go. What do you guys think? Caught a lot of fish out of that one little spot. Throw back with the TRD, big A baits. Definitely uh, no sign of wear yet. We've caught, I don't know, we've, we've caught a few fish, had a few hits on it. 
it's definitely not you know not a one or two fish and then it's time for a new one it's a pretty durable plastic so far seems like I'll be honest, I'm picking on colors, so I don't try a ton of different colors, but I knew this color would work. And there's a few others. There's a hit. Ah! Okay, we've had a hit swimming it over there. We caught a fish and then we just had another hit. I'm trying to get it. Oh, right there is perfect, right there. I bet we'll have a fish without even having to move it. Now my line's blown 50 million miles away, but. Come on, I see, there's like three fish over there. I think they're all bass, I can see them. There's, there we go, got one. I was gonna say, I could see it. There was a fish swimming around it. That was pretty cool. The power of just a bait just sitting there, like, and I barely move it. It's insane how well a TRD works. It doesn't look like, it. it's just a, I mean, it doesn't look like anything. It looks like a little piece of a pencil or something. It's crazy. Kind of like, I guess, a pencil bait works as a popper type deal, topwater bait. <laughs> it's just, it was just sitting over there. And I could see a few fish, I guess, heard the splash and were around it. And I just barely, I, you know, I just kind of basically pulled just a hair. So it probably just kind of shuddered and moved a little and one grabbed it. Crazy. All right. Well, no need to stop. If it's working, try to get that line down better this time. And all I've done on the two fish I've caught, I've thrown it, let it, you know, sink, know it's on bottom, and then just kind of work it back slowly. And now, but I did have a hit swimming it slow. I also had a hit. I don't see anything over by it right at the moment probably spooked the area these fish well I guess they're you I didn't hit this place at all last year but the year before and maybe even the year before that I did hit it unfortunately this just isn't I guess a deep enough place to hold a lot of big fish and it does get fished enough that I don't know how many people keep or what whatever but I mean, if I own this place, I definitely have a bigger fence put up and I would try to uh, figure out how to get it deeper, you know, pay, a, pay to get it deepened up, in, at least in some spots to where there's some deep water. I'm going to try swimming it. It's an awesome little place just to what I'm doing. Get, oh, they're a little pet. When you're moving it slow, they get... Oh, my goodness. I can feel them. They won't commit. They're just like pecking. They're probably... It's probably bluegill, and they're probably not getting a whole bait in their mouth. I, I had three pecks on that one cast. So far, I'm liking the uh, Devacon or whatever that uh, cheap AliExpress camo braided line. I don't have any issues with it so far. 
or the Hercules or the Perberos. I can recommend all three of those. Hercules is probably one I recommend over any of them, but it is a little cheaper than almost any other braid you can get, but it's, it's higher than the Perberos or the uh, other brand. And I think I honestly think they're all coming from the same factory. Got some gum. All right, anyway, let's put an end to this video. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Uh, but there you have it. If you haven't tried TRDs or aren't using them or for whatever reason, don't do. You get some TRDs. Uh, check out Big A's. He's on uh, Facebook. But uh, Big A's Baits. Check him out. You can get uh, all kinds of different soft plastic. But Z-Man, the uh, TRDs, also I recommend those. They, they'll last forever. But these tend to last a long time when you get the... Uh, ned rigged baits they tend to last a lot longer than a normal worm so it's not a huge deal like you you need z-man stuff to be able to last catch a bunch of fish but crotto bfs definitely recommend that that's an awesome reel the uh, lure star streamer awesome rod i mean this is a combo that i would recommend anybody get if you're like you know getting into bfs and you want to have fun yes if you're a tournament fisherman and you're wanting super long casts and all that you're probably better off with the dobbins and stick with your you know seven foot eight foot whatever rod you think you need anyway, to use. as i get out of here i want to thank you guys for checking out all the different content shows channels channels videos that i have out because i got from the two minute to the 45 minute talking about nothing videos they're all over on youtube right so mainly talking about bfs but bass fishing for sure uh, occasional bonsai, but not, not a lot here lately, I'll be honest. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Get out of here, go bass and bonsai, but whatever you do, whatever you do, make sure you have fun doing it.